Hi, good morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, Coffee and Connections with the Chief. I'm Chief Dean Rondo, uh, Chief of Police of uh, Wolfboro PD. To my left is uh, Captain Mark Livy, my executive officer, and to my right is uh, my K-9 officer, uh, Mike Strzok. So uh, we're here uh, today at the uh, Downtown Grill, and as you can tell, it's quite busy, and, and uh, we're, we're going to be doing another segment of Coffee and Connections. So this is really your opportunity to get uh, with members of the Police Department and learn a little bit about the Police Department and talk to me uh, about any topics that you want to talk, if you want to talk First Amendment issues or Fourth Amendment issues or, or, or anything, if you, if you want to talk about police radar, or if you want to talk about uh, topics of, of interest uh, uh, relevant to you, whether it's, it's, it's uh, global warming or it's geopolitical uh, politics or it's events in the Middle East, come on down, have a cup of coffee, and, and uh, let's talk it out. It's a beautiful day down here at, uh, at the Downtown Grill. It's uh, early November and uh, things are, are just wonderful right now. We're, we're moving along uh, into uh, the budget season and uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to uh, deliver my fiscal year 18 budget to the uh, budget committee. And uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, we've got a pivot on technology. Uh, we're we're uh, moving toward uh, some new and exciting uh, communication systems that have been adopted by the state and uh, if this budget does go through uh, this will really pull the Wolfboro Police Department uh, into the into what I call the 21st century in terms of our technology. Uh, we're moving uh, to, to uh, get mobile data terminals in all of our cruisers, the e-ticket system uh, installed in the cruisers and it will really uh, bring us up on par with other state agencies, such as the uh, the sheriff's department, uh, the state police, and 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 other uh, agencies that that are already using the mobile data terminals and the J1 system of communication, so I'm really excited about that. Additionally, uh, we're moving uh, forward in uh, with with the with the uh, uh, planning committees, the various planning committees, and the master plan and the capital improvement uh, committee. Uh, in, in looking at uh, setting the stages for a, a new public safety building. So I'm very excited about that. The, the uh, needs uh, assessment uh, has been let by the Board of Selectmen and we're moving toward uh, examining uh, the needs of uh, the Wolfboro Police Department and the Wolfboro Fire Rescue Department in, in terms of a new public safety building. So again, a very exciting time to be in public safety in the town of Wolfboro. And uh, I, uh, have, uh, I have high hopes that uh, we're, we're going to continue to make great strides in, in improving the Wolfboro Police Department and the in infrastructure uh, here within the town that we all utilize. So having said that, I'm going to turn it over now to my uh, Executive Officer, Captain Mark Livy. Captain? Thanks, Chief. So some of the things that have been going on since the last time we were on TV here uh, with the connections with the Chief. Um, so. Fiscal year 18 has started for the state, so the grants um, are going to be coming back out. So um, fiscal year 18 grants will be starting up in November, actually November 4th. It will actually be the first day. Uh, so you'll see the officers out uh, doing speed patrols, destructive driving, um, the DWIs that are going to be coming out on a majority of Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. Um, so be aware that the, the officers are out there on patrol. There's extra patrols. So um, you'll see them out. Uh, some of the other things that have been going on is um, Officer Swift mess, met up with the Cub Scouts at the PD and uh, talked about some safety things and how it is to be a police officer and when she started and all that good stuff. It was, uh, she um, worked with the fire department on that. Um, Officer Llewellyn is meeting with the, um, the Brownie troops, actually. Um, you'll be doing that for officer safety um, uh, Halloween safety, which is last month, but he met with them and uh, to talk to them about um, safety on Halloween. So those are a few things that have been going on that we we get our officers out in the community to talk with different organizations, which is um, it's a, it's a great thing for the um, the town to meet the officers one on one, the kids to meet them, other than seeing them on um, school crossing. So other than that, we have the radar trailer, which is going to be going in. So we're getting in November here and um, the snow is going to be coming out. So uh, you're going to see that coming down. So the, that's going to be put, be put away for the winter time. Um, other than that, I don't have any other new topics to talk about other than introducing officer, the K-9 officer, Michael Strzok. 
Thank you, Captain. Um, I was asked to come down here. First of all, I'm Officer uh, Michael Strauch. I'm the canine handler uh, for the town of Wolfboro. And uh, I was asked to come down here. Sorry about that. Um, asked to come down here today to talk about, a little bit about myself and my, uh, my role within the department. Um, first off, a little about me was I have uh, lived in Wolfboro almost all of my life. Um, I am a local graduate of Kingswood Regional High School. Um, I won't tell you what year because I'm kind of dating myself at this point, but um, went on to uh, college. I hold a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Curry College in Milton, Mass. Um, I also uh, worked two summers um, as a auxiliary police officer for the town of Nantucket, Massachusetts before coming up here and uh, kind of kicking off my law enforcement career. Um, so I've been on the department for, um, I'm in my 10th year now, which uh, has really flown by. Um, and luckily, uh, a couple years back, was given the opportunity to, uh, to, to take reins of the, uh, the town's canine program. Um, that was done 100% on um, donations from the public who uh, felt that we needed a canine here in town as well. Um, my life spent here in Wolfboro, I've seen several trends come and go. I've seen uh, times have changed. Stuff that I never had to deal with before or was a part of before was any of this, uh, the heroin epidemic that's going on right now. Um, uh, the captain just brought it up, texting and driving. This was not any part of my, uh, you know, forte before. Um, these are just problems that uh, have, 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 you know, cropped up. Um, and with that, we kind of have, you know, an answer to that being grants one for distracted driving, and two is the uh, the, the the canine for the uh, to help you know uh, battle this this uh, heroin ep ed epidemic that we're going through right now. So um, a little bit about my canine partner Riggs. Um, he is a uh, three and a half year old chocolate lab. He was an import from the Netherlands. Um, he's a extremely high drive dog. He's he he'd make an excellent dog for hunting as well. He was uh, it made him uh, somewhat easy to train because he has a very high drive um, to to work to be doing something, but also to to uh, to please me and appease me. So it it made it made that a little easier. Um, I did my training through the New Hampshire State Police. Um, put on a canine school. The first was a 15-week uh, program for basic obedience um, and the patrol aspect of things, which would be the tracking um, and uh, evidence recovery. So he is able to track um, anyone with, um, that's putting down human odor, basically, which is where his evidence um, portion of it comes in as well. He's able to um, locate anything that has a human odor component. So if somebody throws a gun, um, a cell phone, any evidence of a crime, um, that, a, that a person is touched, um, he, he is able to, uh, to alert to that. Um, so that was that aspect of it. And I then uh, attended through the same school a 10-week um, program on drugs. He is certified in um, five drugs. And uh, tremendous drive to find that stuff too. Um, he's, it's just been, he's been great overall. So um, the dog as a deterrent for that is, is outstanding. I have located in this town um, marijuana, heroin, um, we've had uh, cocaine at one point, so he, he is out there working, he's, he's doing his thing, and uh, he's, he's always happy to please me. Um, moving on from that, he, he, it's not just his tracking and drug ability, um, it's this whole um, almost community um, issue that, that when they see the dog, you know, some people might not understand what police do or be comfortable around police, which is understandable. I mean, sometimes these uniforms are intimidating. However, everyone, mostly everyone, uh, short of the cat people, love dogs, and uh, it creates and piques a lot of interest with people. Um, so it's been a great segue, and it's really been a way to, uh, to, to make contact with the community, to have them come up, and before you know it, you're, you, people that maybe were uncomfortable with police, uh, you know, you're having a 10, 15 minute conversation with them about about anything and it was because of it was because of rigs that really you know brought them over and and was able to open dialogue so he's been a he's been a tremendous um asset to the community uh in that aspect um also school crossing i bring him out for school crossing the kids can't get enough of him um he's not a bite dog 
Um, so there's no, you know, he doesn't have a mean bone in his body. There's no, there's no worries about that. So um, people come up, ask me if they can pet him, which I have no problem with at all. Uh, and and uh, he's really been a great dog for that. Fourth of July, it's kind of a tradition now that I'll kind of head up the front of it and I go out there and, and people that maybe don't know him or everybody that does know him, um, you know, will walk both sides of the road. And, and um, the conversations I've had with people, people are always, you know, sometimes... <laughs> It's a little hurtful to me because I'm just a dummy at the end of the leash, but everyone is always very excited to see Riggs. Riggs is uh, kind of the star of the show, so he, uh, he, de he definitely pulls his own weight, and I'm glad he can't drive or type reports because I'd probably be out of a job. But uh, so that's that whole, uh, whole aspect of it. He, he, he's, been, he's just been a great dog. He, uh, he definitely keeps uh, days interesting, to say the least. Um, Given his high drive and his his uh, work ethic, it's it's 24/7, seven days a week. So even when I'm off, the days are off. He's he's at home with me, and and having to exercise him and go out and give him something to do, give him a task to uh, to accomplish, is something that he finds uh, very rewarding. So um, there's really never any off days, and there's always some type of training going on with him. So um, I look forward to continuing to work with him in this town. Um, I know that a lot of the townspeople um, are happy to see him every time I'm out, so it's, it's really been a great program. So he touched on the uh, distractive driving. Um, we can't emphasize that enough as not to use your cell phone when you're driving. Um, I pulled over a vehicle, actually it was yesterday, well, October, and um, the operator actually said that she didn't know how to use the Bluetooth in the vehicle. Well, you need to learn that. You need to learn that. Look at the manual, look at YouTube, or don't pick up the phone when you're driving. There's many options that you can do. Um, just wait, pull over, um, figure out something. Also, if you're actually driving and you're like holding your phone like this and driving, this is not hands-free. You're still holding the phone. You can't have the phone in your hands or around. It's got to be basically on one of these accessories that you can buy and then you can use it. So just be careful out there and um, please don't use your cell phones. So uh, I just want to get back to uh, talk a little bit about Officer Strzok, Senior Patrolman Strzok. Uh, he's been with us now uh, 10 years. I, I will tell you that uh, Officer Strzok is an outstanding police officer. He's a very talented uh, investigator and he's a phenomenal uh, canine handler. Mike is also a lead investigator in the Tina Fey case, uh, which uh, was, uh, I know, very daunting, and it did, did an excellent job uh, in that investigation, and I couldn't be uh, happier, couldn't be prouder of, uh, of young Officer Strzok. And, um, and Mike, uh, just, just so you know, grew up on a farm. Uh, so certainly when it comes to, to, to uh, you know, animal cruelty laws and, and uh, the, uh, the proper care and maintenance of animals. Mike uh, is the one guy in the agency that really knows what right looks like. And uh, so I, I just want to point that out, that he's a, he's a phenomenal asset to the Wolfboro Police Department, and we're very, very happy uh, to have him. And I'm, I'm glad uh, he came to the Wolfboro PD and didn't, uh, didn't stay in that all in Nantucket. <laughs> so... Um, <clears throat> Getting back and, and uh, touching a little bit about uh, operations uh, that the captain had mentioned earlier. So uh, the, the first quarter of, the, of uh, the federal fiscal year, fiscal year 18, has kicked off. The town's fiscal year doesn't begin uh, until January. Uh, but we're well into the first quarter of the federal fiscal year. So uh, the captain's absolutely correct. Uh, so our grant patrols have started again. Uh, you will be seeing DWI enforcement uh, in earnest. You'll be seeing speed enforcement in earnest. Uh, you'll be seeing the uh, distracted driver patrols uh, in earnest, the click it or ticket patrols in earnest, making sure our, our uh, youthful drivers and our young children are buckled up. Uh, so this is all designed to really get at voluntary compliance with the law. That's what we're really looking for, okay? Uh, this is not designed to be punitive. It's designed uh, to ensure that we're complying complying with the state laws and the state mandates. Uh, so having said that, I, I just want to let you know that, that we are currently conducting speed operations on the following towns in Wolfboro, North Main Street, Forest Road, Beach Pond Road, with an emphasis between 109A and North Line Road, 
North Line Road, 109 East, and 28 North and South from 7-Eleven all the way through to the, to the Alton Town Line. So just be mindful that those areas have been identified for an increased focus uh, by the Woodboro Police Department. We are receiving uh, complaints from residents and people that drive on those roads, and this is being confirmed by the data coming off of our radar trailer. Radar trailer is equipped with a very sophisticated and capable data analysis and collection program that helps us analyze where the problems are. So we're, we're using that in conjunction with citizen complaints, and that's very important. So uh, we, we don't do anything wholly based off the radar trailer, but we marry it up with citizen complaints. So these are your neighbors, these are your sons and your daughters and your brothers and, and your, your cousins uh, complaining of speeders in these areas. Okay, so that's what I really need you to be, be mindful of. All right, so please watch your speed. I know North Main Street has just been paved. Uh, all the way to the Tufton Road Town line. It's, it's easy to, uh, to, to, to get carried away. I understand that. Uh, I just need you to be more mindful of your speed. Remember, we're still into the fall months and the animals are still on the move. So I need you to be, be safe out there. Again, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, today with Coffee and Connections. This is hosted by the Downtown Grill and uh, Peter Colker down here. So, uh, you know, we appreciate you using local area venues. I know we do uh, every time we have an opportunity. So come on down, support your local business community. Uh, pay Peter a visit. Tell him I sent you. And uh, come on down, have a cup of coffee. The food down here is awesome. The camaraderie is awesome. And, uh, and if you want to be on Coffee and Connections with the Chief, all you need to do is email Tim or Peter at, at uh, Wolfboro Community TV and uh, come on down. And thank you very much for, for listening to Coffee and Connections with the Chief. Again, I'm Chief Dean Rondo of the Wolfboro Police Department. Thanks for watching. Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, Chief Dean Rondo with the Warpole Police Department, and uh, thank you for joining Coffee and Connections with the Chief. And I want to let you know that uh, today's segment has been sponsored by the Downtown Grill in uh, downtown uh, Wolfboro, New Hampshire. So uh, when you get a chance, come on down and uh, be on Coffee and Connections with the Chief at the Downtown Grill. Today's uh, safety tip of the month is going to be focused on winter driving. So look, we live in a very bucolic area. It's beautiful. Uh, and uh, Wolfboro is home to uh, thousands of uh, residents, but we want to make sure that we're driving safely. And we get we get bad storms, we get nor'easters, the road freezes, and driving gets dangerous. So as the winter months are upon us, I need you to really watch your speed, slow down, and and be mindful of the hazards out there. Uh, we're going to have black ice, we're going to have snow, we're going to slush. And all of that is going to affect your, your braking capability. And lastly, I know a lot of us have four-wheel drive vehicles. I have two four-wheel drive vehicles. But just because you have four-wheel drive doesn't mean that you stop any faster. It just means that you have better traction on the snow and the ice. It doesn't mean your braking ability is any better. So please be mindful of that. Please go slow. Uh, and if it's, it is going to be bad weather, it is going to be sloppy weather, leave 10 or 15 minutes earlier. Do yourself a favor and just go slow. You'll appreciate, uh, you'll appreciate doing so when you get to your final destination safely and in one piece. Again, this is Chief Dean Rondo with the Warpro Police Department with your safety tip of the month. Thank you very much and have a great and safe day.